Hey Blue Table fans, I'm here with uh, Nate and uh, he's just finishing up some cheese sticks and he's, he's wiping his greasy hands off on his pants right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just trying to imagine that. Okay, all right, here he is. Yeah, all right, so, okay, go ahead. All right, so uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the Knight Titan Codex. So first off, when this came out and I heard there were uh, entries for it, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like a data slate. It's gonna be, you know, some like one-shot thing. No, they made a proper codex. Like, this is an army. This is the first army book they put out for a long while. You can have an army of just these guys. And I think it is so cool. So I've read just a little bit of background. It looks really neat. Um, but uh, there are in the book only two army list entries, and they do not have options. There's a Knight Paladin and the Knight Errant. The Knight Paladin has a, ra a rapid fire battle cannon that shoots twice, and the, um, the uh, Nate's listening to some kind of death metal oh. German thing, <laughs> which is great. I'm all for that. That's um, him, dude. Yeah, what? It's Finnish. Finnish? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, fin Finnish death metal, uh, speed it's... metal. Sure, we'll call it yeah, that. Okay, thanks. Just, thanks just for, for you, Sean. Me, yeah, Nate. you could be, so you could be right this the time. The Knight Errant has a uh, oh my gosh, a thermal cannon, heavy one, large blast, and Melta nine one. Awesome. Okay, so uh, first off, but that's not the cool thing about these knights. It's close combat because I was like, oh yeah, well that's what'll happen. People will bubble wrap these guys. They'll have th three or four attacks. In fact, uh, I think they have yeah, they only have three attacks. They'll just have three attacks. And, uh, stomp. Yes, and the stomp. Let's talk about the stomp. Go see stomp in concert. It's <laughs> uh, it's crazy. So I, I wanted to show this to you, but since I'm standing here and don't have templates, I'll just have to describe it. So basically, uh, when they're engaged in combat at initiative step one, they don't get a pile in at the same time. Uh, they get to do a uh, this super heavy stomp. Would you like some templates? I have uh, no, no, it's, it's okay. People will be able to use their imaginations. All right, so a stomp attack, so you get D3 stomps. So what you do is the first marker, you place it touching the heavy walker, but not over it. So it could be anywhere within, you know, or anywhere around the edge. So then uh, each unit that has at least one model, even partially into the marker, uh, let's see, is stomped. And then you roll on a stomp table. So we'll get to the stomp table in a second. But if you do subsequent ones, here's where the shenanigans start. If you do subsequent ones, you have to place it within three inches of the last one, but not over the super heavy walker. Now, as far as I read, there are no other limitations to this. So unless I've read it wrong, you can actually stomp out onto like a nearby vehicle. You know, you could just, let's see, in the manner, so this place must be placed so, so partially through the last one. Not over. That's it. It's just two conditions. It has to be within three inches of the last one and not over the walker that's uh, stomping. So uh, stomp forward. Okay, you don't move the guy, you know. Although I'm going to. I'm going to actually move. I got to go. Rah! That's awesome. <laughs> Come on, an army of six of these guys. That is, by the way, 370 times, you know, uh, times uh, six. Is it, It's about 2,200 points. I think it's uh, 20... Um, yeah, 2150, something like that. Anyway, my mental math is, is uh, not on deck today. Okay, so now, but now, what you could do is you could put the, you could put, as far as I'm reading it right, you put the same template three times, right, in the same place, or you can, you can walk it out. So if you do the math, the template I think is three inches around, three inch gap, three inch template, three inch gap, three inch template. So three, so that's 15 inches is how far this stomp attack can go out by doing it that way. Of course, in the picture, they show the most simplistic thing of it just being nearby on one unit. Then they don't show the shenanigans possible of actually like hitting a land raider that's, mm. you know, 15 inches away and just clipping it. Okay, so if it's a non-vehicle, so it goes, you roll one, you roll one or a six or the middle thing happens. Okay, so the middle thing is um, every, you get a strength six AP four hit. Not bad. And, and if I'm reading it right, this does count towards combat resolution. This is just an attack that it makes, a special attack in initiative one. So that's awesome. I say yes to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, a vehicle suffers a penetrating hit is the, is the middle majority thing. Really? Yeah, just take a penetrating hit. So now think about this. You could, if you roll the D3 and you roll a three, you could be like, 
hit, hit, hit. So it, as long as the combat's happening next to an enemy vehicle, which mm -hmm. you could do if you charge. Oh, yeah. By the way, these guys move 12 inches. Good yeah, it's, it's <laughs> absolutely nuts. So six, if you roll a six, um, each model from the target unit that is even partially under the blast template marker, excuse me, is removed from play. No saves of any kind? Yeah, just and removed? it doesn't, it just says removed from play. Wow. So it seems to me that that's not randomized. You don't take the closest one. It's like anyone that's touched by it is removed from play. So this allows for very precise extermination mm -hmm. of certain models in the unit. Okay, a vehicle being flipped a, a, on a, a six, a vehicle goes D6 random inches and explodes. Yeah, scatters D6 inches and explodes. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. And this is on top of the like reaver chain blade thing that they have, which has a destroyer. Uh, a D destroyer. weapon? Yes, is a D weapon. And if you roll a six on it, a vehicle loses D6 plus six whole points. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, we're and done. And so, like, what can even survive that? That's like, I, I don't even know. Like bigger things and like apocalypse. Yeah, like super, right? super heavy vehicles or something. Or the model on a six loses D6 plus six wounds. So yeah, and uh, it is no saving throws of any kind. Feel no pain, Necron reanimation protocols, uh, uh, invulnerable saves would be a type of save. So, okay, so that's what I think of these. They look like a lot of fun. I think the common things that you might do to just deal with this army, because my first thing was like, well, they'll just bubble wrap them in Ormagons, and you'll spend the whole game three Ormagons, three Ormagons, two Ormagons, right? And then mm -hmm. game over. Oh no. But with that you stomp. Get these things. Yeah, so you could like, you could hit like nearby Synapse creatures with it. Like it can go so far, it's crazy. Like he's like rampaging around 15 inches and then going back to where he started. So it looks like a ton of fun, I love them. And by the way, we are running a special this week only through Friday that if you have your model assembled and painted by BTP, uh, you get half off the cost of the model. We will acquire your model if you want for half and last I knew they were 140, 150 bucks. Yeah. So you get them for 70, Same, 75, 70. something like yeah. that. So, and that Which is a great deal. That is a great deal. <laughs> and uh, so contact projects at bluetablepainting.com for details. And uh, we, will, we will get you set up because we have some guys here that love to paint Titans. And they, they put the love into them. Ramp it up to level seven, folks. <laughs> Worth every penny. Yeah. Thanks a lot.